Hello, this is Nagoji here, and this is the moment I've been waiting for. I'm going to do reactions to Goji Fan's newest videos. I was going to do his old videos, but there are way too many videos to react to. Maybe someday, someday, someday I'll, re I'll revisit those videos, but there are way too many videos to react to. It's hard to choose. <laughs> anyway. But today we'll be back to his three newest videos. Starting with this one. Let me show screen. Hey G fans, Goji Fan93 here, and welcome to the first official brand new video of the new goji fan 93 channel um we have passed all the archive stuff and 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 uh you know re-watching the old stuff this is the first brand new video for 2023 uh depending on when this comes out because as of right now i am actually recording this on uh, December, uh, let's see, December 20th of last year, of 2022. So you guys haven't even uh, seen the beginning of uh, the Goji Fan stuff yet as I'm recording this. But I had to record this because I wanted to share with you guys my experience on this package in particular. Now, it has been, obviously, a very, very long time since I have made Yeah, a very, video. very long time. And uh, don't expect many of these uh, going forward, but I just, this one is just a little bit too special, and I had to share it here with you guys. Um, so, uh, first off, before we get into it, I want to give you guys a little bit of a story. Um, so, this figure is very important to me because it actually involves 1984, and all of you guys know that I am a huge Godzilla 1984 fan, and I do have a few pieces of merchandise from the film. Uh, I'm going to show you guys here real quick so we can just see what I have so far. Um, so right here, uh, this is actually the Godzilla 1984 VHS from Toho Video. Uh, this was gifted to me by Matt from Monstrosity, so this was a very awesome gift. And then I also have another gift from Matt from Monstrosities. This little guy here, this is one of the, uh, I think this is the Yuji Sakai little diorama sets uh, that came out. Um, he doesn't have like his base or anything, but uh, this is another cool little guy. So another 84 piece of merchandise I have. Um, I have the soundtrack uh, from the perfect soundtrack collection of the official 1984 movie. This is a uh, awesome piece of merchandise that I have. This is part of a holy grail really. And then of course, um, I, you know, yeah, you gotta have the movie itself. Uh, this is the Kraken release of 1984, uh, the best release, I think, because they actually um, have the, uh, basically like a, a subtitled for, no, they have a dubbed for the Japanese version. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's and pretty I cool. Can, I, can I got that one the too. the version, because I'm not actually a big fan of 1985. And then of course, um, you all know, this hey, was I love 1985. I grew up with that. And plus, you can't forget the scream uh, at the end. That, release that is so terrifying. And uh, still have this guy, still love this guy. He's very important to me. Um, so this is a, a really cool gift here. And then this was basically my, I would say, latest figure of Godzilla. And I got this guy in 2019. This is the 30 centimeter Yuji Sakai uh, Sculpey Next Plus line. And uh, this is a, an amazing piece for X Plus. Uh, this guy is super, super cool. Um, he's, it's not the, it's not like the Rick version. It doesn't come with like the Super X or anything, but uh, this guy is still freaking awesome. Now, like I said, this was the last thing I unboxed um, back in 2019. This was like the last thing. Yeah, that was like, what, Godzilla three years ago? Not really in a long time. Of that video. It was like Godzilla versus Kong DVD and all that, but it wasn't as like, you know, cool as that. Um, so from that video, you know, there's that. You guys remember that old video on the CJ Cooper's Productions channel. Now, this box here is super exciting because this is actually, I'm going to try not to dos, dedox myself. Um, this is from the Godzilla store. And um, this is the newly released 
uh, well, as of this time, as of this recording, by the time you guys are watching this, this is an old figure, but uh, the newly released as of this time, uh, December 20th of 2022, uh, the official, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, official. Bandai movie monster series, Godzilla 1984, standard six inch, all that stuff. What's so cool about this is that this is the same mold that came from the Memorial Box Godzilla 84. Now you guys remember, I have a story with that, is that I actually used to own the 84 uh, figure. Um, let's go back down memory lane and remember that time. All right, we're going, here goes. The search begins. All right, he's off, he's off. It's gonna be a race. Christopher has got to do a backup plan. I'm sorry. Uh, which which one? Uh, <laughs> oh my god, I remember that video. Look at Christopher's face. He is extremely happy. Why? Because he just found it. Look, look what's in his hands. Unbelievable. After two vendors said that they sold out, we found these guys yeah. here. We just got them. Just got them. He's he the I already spent too much. He spent too much. All right. Bye bye. So I was super excited when I got that guy at G Fest. And of course, I was an idiot. And I ended up selling it way later when I was doing my purge of all figures and stuff like that. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? <laughs> Um, I have regretted it ever since, and uh, I have some friends, I know Everett from Godzilla Fan Freaks, he keeps on, you know, <laughs> egging me on about it. He's like, can't believe you sold that, you know? And so there was a part of me that was thinking, like, I will never, ever get uh, this figure again. Like, I'll never have that mold again, because looking on eBay, if you can even find it on eBay, but if you do, it's like hundreds of dollars, super, super expensive figure. Um, so I kind of gave up hope on that. But then on November 3rd, 2022, Godzilla's birthday, um, all of a sudden, Toho was like, hey, guess what? We're releasing a movie monster series, Bandai Godzilla 1984. And I am pretty sure that this is the first movie monster series, Bandai Godzilla 84. I know that there was a Bandai 84 a while ago, like when the movie first came out, but I, I don't, that's like a different mold and I'm not sure it's part of the movie monster series. Um, so, Yes. So without further ado, enough rambling. Like I said, it's a good old Goji fan video. So you can't have a good old Goji fan video without some unscripted rambling awesomeness. Let's get into this. God, it has been such, I'm actually kind of excited about it because it's just, it's been a long time since I've done an ex, uh, a uh, unboxing video. And of course, we have the return of the pink razor of manliness. Um, of course, I have to. I still have this guy. I still have this guy. All right, let's get into this guy, all right? I remember how fun unboxing videos were uh, before they got a little stale, but yes. Um, let's just get this open. Enough rambling. Must open the box. Yes. Let's not cut myself. I might be a bit rusty on this, that's okay. All right, let's cut through the... Hopefully I didn't just cut through the figure. Actually, that would have been really bad. Woo. Okay. Um, that open. All right, let's see. And this is really cool, too. It's the first time I've ever bought something from the Godzilla store. The official the official Godzilla store. So, um, let's see. This was released... Uh, da, 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 da. I don't really know. It looks like... That's weird. November hmm. 7th, 2022. I don't November really understand 7. what that means. I don't know if that means that this was actually a November release. I guess that would make sense or when it was posted but i'm pretty sure it actually released in japan on the 15th of december of this year of 2022 um but whatever so that's not important <sighs> okay now if i remember bandai figures have the tags so yeah here we go all right oh yeah 
that's that's pretty cool here he is guys all right <laughs> so um this is him in his plastic bag here this is really really awesome um and wow okay there we that's it that's just that's nothing to it ah <sighs> here he is guys I oh have it's glory the 84 mold from the Speaking memorial of box. Four, four, yes, you need to it's get not one. the memorial box figure it's not you know it's not the the actual one from the 50th memorial box but to be honest this guy is pretty cool something that i notice is that the color um it is a lot more like movie accurate i think because if i remember the the memorial box figure was a lot more like kind of um i don't really know how to, it wasn't as um vibrant with the color and i know it's kind of weird saying godzilla you know 1984 being vibrant because really it's just the charcoal black with the dorsal plates but um it's uh it it just seems like like the whites are more pure white like it, it, it like i think that was the thing like it looked a little more bone white on the 50th memorial box this one seems to be more um just like plain white um and of course you can't have a bandai figure without the tag so i'll show you guys the tag here Oops, there is the tag, and then that side, and then I don't really know what's in the, what's in the, what's on the insides here. This, uh, that's all the jargon on the inside. So, um, so yeah, that is that is the eighty-four movie monster series Bandai, and I now officially have him, at least the mold, back in my collection. And I am uh, super, super happy. And as of getting this guy, it was only 30 bucks. Um, I used, uh, what I used was Bai Yi to get it from the Godzilla store. So I highly recommend going to that. Uh, I mean, for those of you, obviously, who are watching, you've probably already gotten this guy from, from that, you know, from Godzilla Day back in 2022. Um, it's just, like I said, it's weird doing the videos a little bit in the future. But I'm only doing that because I'm trying to keep the order of the videos as they released in the years. So that's why um, this one's a little weird. But um, yeah, so I am super excited to have this guy in my collection again. It's really awesome to have just another Bandai figure because these guys were really fun to collect back in the day. Because they don't take up a lot of room. And especially when they're brand new, they're not super expensive. Although I am anticipating this guy, uh, as you guys are watching this right now, like in 2023, I'm assuming this guy now is sold out and he's probably super expensive on the internet. So um, I can't wait to see like how that will look at when this video uploads and uh, I'll look in the comment section. And, and I'll it probably won't be that expensive. I'll show you guys how much it is now. But uh, for now, if I had to awesome. guess, it won't be like 30 bucks. The very first brand new Goji fan style video. can't be that expensive. Again, like it's only been out a lot. It won't, it only sold out like expect more two months ago. It can't be that expensive. It's super awesome to be back, guys. It just feels great. So I will see you guys in the next Goji fan video when it comes out. Stay big, G fans. Ooh, new logo. All right, let's watch the next one, shall we? Let me find it first. Found it. All right. So we both. Goji Fan 93 here. And today I'm actually going to be reacting to the Gamma Rebirth yeah. teaser. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what his reaction is going to be knowing that. Uh, <laughs> The guy who did the anime trilogy is threatening Bebo. Um, as I'm recording this, it is actually uh, currently January 30th, 2023. So um, you guys are still experiencing the archived footage or the archived videos as of right now. Um, but I wanted to get this um, 
teaser reaction in because I just thought it'd be fun and it's new content um, for later down the road. So um, yeah, so we're going to uh, sit down and watch this. This is 15 seconds though. So I'm a little disappointed that it's so short, but I'll give my thoughts on it. Um, so it'll sort of be like a reaction slash thoughts. So it'll at least be somewhat of a longer video. So um, yeah, without Let's further ado, here we go. All right, here we go. All right, six episodes. Camera versus five guy. Wow. Okay, that was really quick, actually. Holy crap. All right. Well, here, let's go through it. Um, again, it's 15 seconds. Normally, I don't really cover things that are this short, but um, I just thought that this would be fun because it's the first thing that we get of this new Gamera thing. So um, first off, to give a little background with me and Gamera, um, way long ago, I used to not be a fan of Gamera. And then it was about, it was 2013, and uh, a lot of you guys, my fans, were telling me about the Gamera trilogy and all that stuff in, the, in the, his Heisei era. And so I ended up getting the Gamera trilogy uh, oh, box yeah. set at Walmart or whatever. Oh yeah, that's um, why I got. I that's why I got introduced just, to Gamma. Like, yeah, with the Heisei Gamera trilogy. I was like, Holy crap! This well, is actually I got amazing. Gamma, dude, and from there, I became a fan of Gamma honest, only in the Heisei series. <laughs> wasn't the biggest series. fan of uh, Showa. Later on, after it was G Fest 2014, I ended up getting the uh, Volume One and Two Blu-rays of the Showa series, and uh, oh, I also got Gamma the Brave as well. And then after I got those, I watched them and um, <laughs> came away watching the Showa series very, very disappointed. I did not like Gamera, the Showa stuff. Um, the first film was all right, and Gamera vs. Garugan and, and Virus were... No, not Virus. Uh, it was Gauss. Um, those were okay, but the rest of the series, I was like, this is trash. It's not good. Um, and then I <laughs> Yeah, the that's what most people really say. I enjoyed Gamera the Brave. I thought that that was a, a good mix of Showa and Heisei, like the Heisei with the dark tones, but also Showa with some of the lightheartedness to it. Um, so those, I, I, I did like Gamera the Brave. So, and yeah, Gamera's been kind of on a, on a break for a long time. Um, there was in 2015, a long time ago, um, actually the last thing I, funny, the last time I did a reaction to Gamera was actually when I did a reaction to this, uh, it was like this tech demo. Thing oh yeah, I remember that video. And we all thought it was a new movie, but it actually turned out to just be sort of this like demo, I guess, proof of concept sort of thing. And it never really went anywhere. So, um, but now we're actually getting a Netflix show um so it looks like it's six episodes but um yeah let's let's go through the trailer um why not let's let's do this um so look let's see here so we have gamma right here i'm gonna turn this down here um so gamma's looking pretty good he's looking a lot like his um heisei self really actually a very heisei. bulky though for like like his hands and everything are like thicker um so nah, to be honest series. it kind of looks like cool. um uh, so we get a little kind of looks like that concept uh gamma trailer i'm wondering why it's only six episodes um i know a lot of shows nowadays are doing like less episodes but they're putting more in those episodes which kind of looks like gamma more. from the concept uh, coming trailer. from a background of watching power rangers and everything how like each season had like 40 something episodes and there was so much filler with it i'm actually okay with a show doing less episodes but like longer episodes to make up that time so i i wonder if there'll be like an hour long episodes or something so i doubt um, it it's probably gonna like, be they're probably like gonna take the same episode. approach with um, pacific from the so black little, if damn, they do that they cut, but they cut away before we can see a good glimpse of him so it looks like ah, i'm trying to catch this here you guys are tricky with your editing so there's gamma's face um again he has more of this he looks like a very big brutish kind of kind of guy so uh, which is great. I mean, it looks like they're taking inspiration from Heisei and they're just sort of improving on that design, uh, which like if they're hopefully if any design from Gamera, they use the Gamera 3 uh, design as an inspiration because that suit was fantastic. Um, so, yeah, Gamera versus five Kaiju. So I'm wondering if this is going to be, you know, five monsters that he's that he's fought in his lineup. So maybe, you know, I'm thinking Barugon uh gauss gauss of course will definitely be a part of this i wonder if legion will actually be there a Zetus would actually be really cool from gamma the brave uh but then i wonder if it's going to be like a lot of showa guys so like virus i think was one 
I can't remember. Um, I don't remember. It would be interesting if they use the iris like the, again. The, the blade, the knife looking guy head or whatever. Not knife head from Pacific Rim, but yeah. I would um, love to see him so use iris again. It's like that, but clearly I'm pretty sure that this is Gauss right there. Um, but to be honest, it might actually be new kaiju. Who knows? I mean, it might be a new thing. Now, I, I mean, I got to say, though, I want to see if I can actually let me let me do this. Let me. Um, we're going to slow this down so we can take a good hard look at this scene here. Cause this is actually really, really cool. So yeah, that, wow. They really, they really cut away fast. I, even with slow-mo, I couldn't even <laughs> do that. So uh, this was the first teaser image we got of camera. So yeah, I mean, it looks great. I'm, you know, uh, Gamera rebirth is the official title of it. And so um, I, I think it's going to be awesome. So this is a little bit of a short video, but this is my thought. I thought it was, I mean, a pretty interesting, um, I wish it was longer than 15 seconds, but I think otherwise it is. Um, I doubt, I bet cool. later I'm down the line, we'll probably get trailer. like a full. When another trailer comes around, I'll probably do another reaction to we'll it. We'll probably get like a full that. trailer and, um, I'll, I'll when be, it comes I'll out. I'll be covering this. Why not? I'll, I'll cover when the show comes out and maybe I'll do a, you know, maybe we'll do a watch along and then I'll do like a review of each episode or something, kind of like what I do with Godzilla Singular Point. So, uh, yeah, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, stay big, G fans. And for the third and final newest video that he put out, Let's see what it is. Okay, what on earth? <laughs> I love that edit. Oh, 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 my head. Oh, what? What the? What, what the? Uh, oh. <laughs> I love that edit. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Whew. Well, <sighs> hey, G fans, Goji Fan 93 here. And, uh, well, um, it looks like today is a box day. Um, yeah, someone told me, I guess, that it's a, a box day. So, today is sort of an unexpected box day. I wasn't planning on getting this guy, obviously. Um, in the last unboxing video, I said that, you know, obviously this wouldn't be happening frequently, but. Um, because of a certain Everett from Godzilla Fan Freaks, uh, showed off this figure, and, um, well, it, I blame him. It's all his fault that I got this figure. What? How is it my fault? You know what, actually? You're welcome, because it's a cool G84 figure, and I know you love Godzilla 84. Don't you go selling this one now. I mean it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. That yeah. Way, you guys get another box day, so... Here's the box here. Of course, Pink Razor Manliness. Can't forget about this guy. And uh, I'm just going to open this guy up and we're going to see what I got. Got this box opened up. Let us see what the package is. Now, I actually know what it is. What? You don't say. You don't say. You don't say! Um, I'm actually kind of excited about it. Um, again, it was a package, it was an, an item that I wasn't really planning on getting, but it's sort of 
directing me in a way that I think I know how I want my collection to look maybe going in the future, you know, I don't know. But, um, ooh, wow, okay, this, this does look pretty cool. All right, well, so for today's unboxing and a new addition to my collection, I have acquired the Mondo Godzilla 1984. Um, I'm the Godzilla 84 soft vinyl figure from Mondo, uh, as you can tell on the header card there. Um, this is part of a variant set, so as you can tell, this was the one I got. I got the standard because I, I prefer the more, you know, like accurate color schemes. I mean, these other colors are pretty cool, but I actually do prefer um, the more traditional look. Um, also, because this one looks really cool because he has like blue spines. So it actually kind of matches uh, the Yuji Sakai one actually because he has like blue spines. So um, yeah, let's get this guy open. I'm not going to keep him in here. What are you kidding? All right. Now, I probably am going to keep the header card just because it is cool. Um, so I will, I'll, I'll put you right here, I guess. Here. Yeah, there you go. Oh my God. And then now we can get to the figure itself. Look at that 84, I should um, probably so get an 84 is, uh, figure. Really cool, um, <clears throat> oh, wow, this actually is really neat. Um, this is a really cool figure because uh, this is the first time I've actually gotten a Mondo item. I've heard about Mondo in the past, um, once again, uh, thanks to Everett from Godzilla Fan Freaks. Um, but uh, I, I wasn't really, you know, planning on getting anything from them. But of course, they decided to come out with a 1984 uh, figure and i just had to i i had to get it i mean and i didn't even know i was actually going to get this guy i actually thought um whoops. i actually thought i was going to get one of the variant guys that are listed um but what's weird is everett actually has one that's not even on here he has one that's like a yellow it's like a yellowish glow i think also lewis duran also got this like yellow colored one. So I don't even know why it's not listed here or if it was some kind of exclusive thing, but um, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with this guy actually, cause this is really cool. So um, yeah, from my last unboxing, the Bandai 84 and the Mondo 84 soft final figure, I'm actually sort of now kind of having a, like a 84 collection really. Um, because obviously you guys know, I have the X plus 84, <clears throat> I have, the UG Sakai X plus 84. And uh, then I have this little diorama guy, the UG, I think this is another UG Sakai thing, but it's like the small diorama set 84. And then of course the movie and the soundtracks and all that. So really it's like my collection is turning into more of an 84 thing, which honestly I'm okay with, like, because it's my favorite film and really there's not much 84 merchandise out there. And then new stuff does come out. It's pretty cool. So um, I'm actually thinking of, maybe getting the Super 784 as well when that does release. So, um, yeah, but uh, this was an unboxing of the Mondo 84. Um, yeah, so there we go, guys. That'll do it for today's video. Another unboxing video. Who would have thought that that after the <laughs> my comeback that I would do two unboxing videos in the span of a small amount of time? It's not going to be happening, happening frequently, I swear. It's, it's only this and then maybe Super 7 and then whatever happens in the future. So that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay big, G fans. He's in the line. <laughs> oh, my God. I love these outtakes. Oh god, this is gonna suck. Why, why am I doing it like this? Okay, what? Oh my god. <laughs>
warrior is like extra concerned about what's going on here. Oh, never mind. No, nope, he's fine. <laughs> like, uh, I should have run out of this. Hey, let go. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. So. Oh, oh. Ugh. Okay. Jesus. Anyway, those are three new videos from GojiFan1993. I will leave a link to his channel so you can go watch these videos. Also, please subscribe to him because he is gaining a lot of subscribers in a short amount of time. His channel's only been up for a month and he's already had 235 subscribers. I am expecting him to reach 1k by summer. I, yeah, I'm not kidding. <laughs> anyway, then I'll just sign off. And remember, stay big, G fans. Ha! I took your line! <laughs> <laughs>